This is Burn, and if you're a woman who's tired or confused or disappointed at this online dating thing, you want to stick around because in my episode today, I'm going to be sharing with you my five top tips as a woman to succeed doing online dating. Hello, this is Burn. Welcome to yourgreatlifetv.com. Today is another edition of Ask Burn, where any of you beautiful women get to ask me a question on love intimacy slash sex <laughs> understanding men and i get to create a video with an answer just for you today's question comes from one of my viewers her username is full pink lips 01 and her question is what are your thoughts on online dating so i thought full pink lips 01 instead of just giving a generic basic answer about my thoughts on online dating something more powerful for you and for any other woman who's online dating who's thinking about this is to give you my five top strategies to succeed as a woman doing online dating the first one is pretty simple and it's make online dating your complementary strategy versus your core strategy here's what i mean a lot of women live under the illusion that they have no time to connect with men in the real world and that the only way they can connect with guys is online dating so if that's your thought pattern when you're going to put a lot more pressure in making this work and if you get a week or a couple of weeks where you get contact from guys that are not your type where you think are guys or these guys are losers or wasting your time you're going to be very frustrated so be very aware of many 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 ways in your life to connect with men everywhere you go the coffee shop the gym yoga class uh, in line as you're picking up your tickets for your concert going out with friends so there's many ways for you to connect with guys i need for you to start connecting with guys outside of just the online world so that the online world becomes like the gravy, like it's just icing on the cake where you get five more guys who wanna connect with you, but those are not the only five guys that you <laughs> are connecting with in your life. Does that make sense? Number two is pretty simple, but you'd be surprised how many women get this wrong, is get the best possible picture of you. And I don't mean the picture where you cut off your friend that you're hugging and basically has some light on the background and is basic, super low quality, I mean, if you can't afford to have somebody take professional pictures of you at the moment or you don't want to do that, by the way, if you're going to do that, do it outside and do it in a studio. Do it outside. But if, if not, get a friend with a regular camera, rent a camera or get an iPhone 6 who has a pretty good camera and have them take pictures of you, just you. Okay, great setting, big smile, shoulder to head, something where your personality shines. And here's the key for a great picture. Besides having a good quality picture, meaning not pixelated, not dark, I want for your energy to be pretty high. So do something fun before you take the picture. Dance, move, laugh, and in the moment of feeling this great emotions, get a picture taken, okay? Uh, third point, when you write your profile, paint a picture. Don't just write this description of, I'm a passionate person. If you're a passionate person, Paint a picture with words of how you're passionate. What things do you like? What are you passionate about? Why are you passionate about them? Instead of saying, um, I am super honest, paint a picture of how you're honest. <laughs> Instead of, uh, let the guy know, basically the guys who are gonna be reading this, the kind of person that you are by being willing to share more details versus big themes, right? I mean, it's better for you to share two details that are very accurate about who you are than saying, I love music. Well, what kind of music do you like? Who's your favorite artist? Why do you like him? Me, be, be, make sure, I'd rather for somebody to look at your profile and say, I hate this woman, I don't want to connect, that for somebody, but everyone to look at it and it's like wishy-washy, like I don't get a sense of who she is because she's basically, it's like elevator music in a profile. Don't, be, don't write an elevator music profile, write a profile that puts out your heart and be descriptive. Number four, incredibly important. And I think if you were to understand, just get this one, then your life online dating is gonna be so much more successful. And that is the 90-10 rule. And here's my 90-10 rule for you. 90% of the stuff you're gonna get online is absolutely concentrated pure crap. Meaning guys who are just wanna have sex with you or guys who are absolute losers. So guys who never have seen themselves in a mirror and have the audacity to want to contact you. You have to give it for them. They have so much confidence and, you like, and you're thinking to yourself, have you looked at yourself? There's no way I would ever connect with you, but here they are connecting with you, right? So the majority of people who connect with you will be in this bucket of absolute crap in terms of resonance with you. Not that the guys are crap themselves, it's just that the resonance is not there for you. 10% of the guys are gonna be great. So for you to succeed in online dating, you have to be willing, the price to pay for online dating is you have to be willing to shift through a pile of stuff that's not good for you or connected or resonant with you to get to the quality guys who you want to connect with. 
If you're not willing to pay that price, don't even go in there. Like if you go in there and say, well, I've gotten so many emails from guys who are not my type, that's what's supposed to happen when you do online dating. <laughs> Guess what? That's, the, that's what happens. But if you stick around and you do this with grace and you do this with patience, you will get to guys who are great quality. You just have to be willing to go through the ones who are not. And I don't mean you have to, you don't have to respond to them or anything, but you just have to be willing to stand the test of patience. The last one is very, very important. Just as powerful as this one. And again, so many women, I've seen the majority of women either do this thing where uh, they are getting disappointed because it's not happening fast enough, or they are creating emotional soap operas unending number of emails and connections and you get uh, with a guy that they've never met. So my biggest advice would be if you're already in there, if you're already connecting with guys, take it offline as soon as possible. Okay? Choose a safe place to connect, but don't spend endless email interchanges connecting and getting to know someone before you see them. I mean, before you meet them in person, before you get a chance to hear their voice, sometimes just one look at them, you and them in, the, in, in their eyes makes you know that they're not your guy, you know, because you don't really feel it or they have this creepy energy and here you are, you've spent like all these months corresponding to a guy who's not your guy. So take it offline as soon as possible. A real relationship takes that human connection. You will get more from one coffee with a guy than you will get in months and months of this fictitious relationship you're creating online. So those are my first tips, best tips for you. If this is powerful, if you find this helpful, I invite you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video right now. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, most important of all, if you do nothing else, uh, there's gonna be a button that appears right here in your <laughs> uh, screen that allows you to connect with me on a webinar that I'm gonna be sharing a three-step proven blueprint that I've taken thousands of women already through to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Very, very profile stuff, powerful stuff and it's free. And finally, if you have any questions for me, post a comment on this video. Let me know what your take is on this. Any, any questions? I mean, I'll be happy to either respond personally or even better, create a video like this one just for you. Thank you so much. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.